to the second annual Golden Spoon Culinary Cooking Competition here in Mobile, Alabama. I'm Sheila Weaver, your hostess for the event today. I'm joined today by my co-host, Christopher Coker, instructor here at the Culinary of Virginia College. Today we have students that will compete for college scholarships. Now, not only is this a chance for these students to, uh, you know, have bragging rights in the city of Mobile, this is a chance for them also to come in and showcase the skills that they've learned throughout their high school education, and they get to pick the brains of the chefs that work here every day. You know? Well, it's just an exciting day. It's going to be a rough morning for some of these kids, and in the end, we are going to have some very happy students. Let's go inside and meet our contestants. My name is Caitlin Rowell, and I'm representing Citronelle High School. Well, it is our first year and a lot of our students have actually helped with the voting and they're really proud of us, I guess you could say, because this is our first year and Citronelle is not used to it because we're such a small little community and I've got a bunch of positive feedback on it and everybody's helped. We've cooked for the administration, they've tasted, they've critiqued. I've actually cooked one of my dishes every day for the past month. So we perfect it and get it right. We've stayed after school all throughout the day. We've practiced meals several times. Like I say, cooked for the administration. I've cooked it at home. Hello, my name is Jamaica Lewis. I am a senior and I am representing Viger High School. We were in the Golden Spoon last year and they won second place. So our advisor decided she wanted to come back again and see if we could make it even better. I watched them, you know, prepare for the competition and I was in there most of the time they were preparing so I was already had a little bit of experience when it came to the competition this year. Um, the culinary program is actually just a facts program, just a classroom with a couple of kitchens and um, our advisor, she tries to get up in there and teach us stuff that we usually wouldn't do on a day-to-day -day basis. So I took, Ms. I took my advisor three years ago and I just kept coming back because I enjoy her so much. My name is Mallory Watson. I'm a senior representing Murphy High School. The culinary program at Murphy High School is a very good program. I've learned a lot of stuff. I've learned how to grill, to make salads, and bake. Chef Weaver is a great teacher. The students are nice. They, um, they're easy to get along with. He asked the class if we wanted to do it, and we all participated. He was like, would anybody like to be in the Golden Spoon? And we didn't know what it was, so he told us about it. And then we all just like agreed to be in it. Hello, my name is Cheyenne Jones. I'm a senior at WP Davidson High School, and I'm here at the Golden School representing them. They did it last year, but they ended up getting disqualified because of not being clean. So I was like, I really would want to do it, but I couldn't do it last year because I was a junior. You know, you have to be a senior to do it. So we really have practiced hard. We've mastered everything that we're cooking, and we really put dedication into our dishes. Well, we've been preparing for the competition by looking up, well, thinking about recipes, and we'll like tweak it to make it our own. And we've been practicing after school, and we've been um, going over each other's houses, calling each other, telling each other like, oh my God, I got a new dessert recipe, and stuff like that. <laughs> um, I think it's a really good opportunity. I mean, you're doing something you like to do, and you're getting rewarded for doing something that doesn't even feel like a job, because it's something that's your passion. Um, we winded up here at the competition because we won last year's competition, so we decided to see if we could win again this year. The culinary program at Williamson High School is really just my teacher, Miss Quinney. And uh, it's not really a full culinary program, it's just the food and nutrition class. And she teaches us how to cook certain foods and what temperatures and stuff everything's supposed to be at. She teaches the basics of how to cook food. For this competition, we really prepared by brainstorming some ideas to be, that would be a good dish to present and a dish that also tastes good. So we kind of just brainstormed some, brainstorm some ideas just to see what we can come up with. I think the competition is a good way for students to figure out if they would like to come into the culinary field after they graduate high school. Baker High School is lined up here because we kind of got wind of the competition, uh, heard about it last year, and decided to be something really fun to do with some kids who've taken our foods and nutrition class in school. Well, Miss Evans, I believe, is our only foods and nutrition teacher that we have at Baker, and it's a class where we go and we learn about food safety, we 
we learn about all the nutritious facts that we need to know about, and we spend a lot of time cooking, and it's pretty great. I mean, some people don't really know what they're doing, but you got the kids that they're really making an interesting class because you get to see the other perspectives of how they view foods compared to you. Um, we prepared by practicing at least twice a week and running over it multiple times a day, just trying to make sure we had everything planned out, everything perfect, our time and down, all working together as a team and all that stuff. Going out like that? Yeah, why? Well, um, what would the neighbors think? <laughs> I see you! Come look at Mr. Feather! Look what I have. Mr. Bird, remember? Bark, bark, bark! We're just playing! We're just playing! I'm trying to get you out of here! Even still. You don't have to be perfect to be a perfect parent. There are thousands of teens in foster care who don't need perfection. They need you. The quality of education that I received from the Mobile County Public School System really prepared me for global success. Being uh, an international opera singer, I get to travel all across the world. And one of the most important aspects about that is being able to communicate and work with people. And the Mobile County Public School System really equipped me to be greatly successful worldwide. We're here with Larry Mouton from Mobile County Public School Systems. Mr. Mouton, thank you for joining us for our second annual Golden Spoon Competition. Well, it's my honor. And we are so happy to have Mobile County Public School Systems as part of the culinary here at Virginia College and Golden Corral. What does all of this mean to the technical program for Mobile County Public Schools? Well, it's a very exciting opportunity for our students to showcase the skills they learn in the classroom. The Cullinard and Golden Corral obviously being partners in this make a big difference to our kids because they can see that what they're doing in the classroom means something in the real world and means something to those people that would give them jobs down the line. That's wonderful. It's an opportunity here for these students along here with their teachers to go ahead and showcase what they've learned in the school systems. Wouldn't you agree? Oh, absolutely. You know, when we're, we as teachers are working with children on a certain skill set, we're teachers. And even though our chefs that are in the classroom as teachers are authentic chefs that have licenses, <laughs> have worked in restaurants, it's still hard to make the transition from a school to a workplace. But to bring kids on tours, that's one great opportunity. But to have them in a head-to-head -head competition like this where they've seen this type of competition they're in a real kitchen with real tools is just amazing it is the showcase here that the culinary has put on for us provides a professional kitchen mm -hmm. along with rules and regulations set by Golden Corral and the culinary these students have an opportunity today to compete for scholarships that must be a win-win for the Mobile County school system oh we've changed so many kids lives through this program again as I said just from the experience but also to get a scholarship to pursue their dream the culinary it's very generous in giving students scholarship opportunities here as well as through the Golden Corral obviously and give these kids and they do take advantage of that and we've got three of them that are about to be chefs who finished the program at Culinary from last year and before you know it they'll be cooking a restaurant near you. Absolutely. These students have they given you any other feedback as far as what they liked about this program? Well, the students, of course, like the fact that they're interacting with other schools in a head-to-head -head competition. Everybody likes competition. And the fact that we're publicizing this, it's going live on Twitter. You know, whether you're at home or at school, you can get a, become a part of it, follow it, and see what's going on. So it's really exciting. It's, you know, again, being part of something bigger than themselves. Absolutely. And this is the future for the workforce. Here at Golden Corral and the Culinary and Mobile County Public Schools, we'd like to thank you for participating with us. Well, thank you. Thank Appreciate you. the opportunity. We're going to walk through the kitchen one last time to make sure that everything's in here and ready to go. The students are doing their timelines right now. And you'll notice that it's, it's healthy. We do a healthy theme here for uh, Golden Spoon. So we've got some fabulous healthy items from wheat pasta to pitos to uh, fresh vegetables. We've got some beautiful Florida strawberries. 
beats. We got all kinds of excitement, things that they probably don't get to use on an ordinary basis. We figured this year our, our special um, surprise ingredient would be satsumas. Uh, so we can keep locality. It's going to be exciting. It's going to be fun. We look forward to it. And we just got a few minutes before we start. So thanks for coming to my kitchen. Everything's ready to go. And we'll see you in a minute. I have, I have six teams. You'll notice in this kitchen right here behind you, you have three stations set up. I have a mirror kitchen just like this on the other side of the door. I want one team, one team, one team, the other three in the other kitchen. Everybody clear? Cool. Let's go. All right, this is your official start. You have two hours from now to complete all of your dishes. Today we'll be preparing an arugula and spinach salad with the sesame vinaigrette. For our entree, we'll be preparing a sesame marinated chicken with a bechamel pasta. And for the dessert, we'll be preparing a sesame shortbread with a strawberry and sesame glaze and homemade whipped cream. Um, for the entree, we first we um, grilled the chicken, grilled the chicken on both sides to get grill marks, and then we put the chicken in the oven and let it bake while we're doing the pasta. So with the pasta, we boil the pasta and make the white sauce, and we add um, little stuff like the zest from the satsuma, maybe a little juice, you know, salt and pepper, and then when that we combine it and then top the chicken, top the soft pasta with the chicken, add some tomatoes that have been tossed in um, olive oil, salt, pepper, and plate it like that. What are y'all preparing here today for me? I'm doing a cranberry um, dry satsuma salad. All right. Now what about your, is that going to be your appetizer, your salad? What's that going to be? Salad. Salad, okay. Now, then what are you going to make? Um, I'm doing a satsuma dressing. Satsuma dressing? Yeah. Well, I'm cooking a salmon with a satsuma butter sauce. I'm going to have peppercorn and satsumas, of course, um, spinach, bay leaves. Someone else is cooking a salad or making a salad, and then we're going to have bread pudding. For our main dish, we're having a ravioli with a Parmesan white sauce, and it's over a bed of spinach. So you, I see you made pasta. That's pretty ambitious right there. Pretty ambitious. What about your uh, say your appetizer? What's your appetizer going to be? Bruschetta. Bruschetta. Okay. Now you just do, do the tradi traditional bruschetta with tomato? No. It's no? Got, uh, a satsuma bruschetta with a marmalade on it. Really? Okay. Cool. Now, what about your main your main entree? We're making ravioli on a spinach, a bed of spinach, uh, wilted uh, spinach. Wilted spinach. Now, what's going to be in the ravioli? Uh, chicken, sesame chicken, and a cheese sauce. For our dessert, we have a satsuma for brulee. Well, we just kind of brainstormed wanted to make sure that we incorporated the uh, mystery ingredient of satsumas in our recipe as much as we possibly could, and so we just kind of based it off of that. Tried to see how we could mix it in there without. Um, without going too much into it, you know. We want the flavor to be there, but we don't want it to be overloaded, so. I'm joined here in the bakery of the Culinary of Virginia College with Chef Jason Lafferty. Welcome, Chef. Hey, how are you? I'm doing well, thank good, you. Good, good. We're here for our second annual Golden Spoon here in Mobile, Alabama. Thank you for hosting this event. Not a problem. How did this event come about? Well, it's wonderful. You guys got with us a couple of years ago. I uh, came up with this great idea to have the local high schools come and participate in a culinary contest, uh, cooking, uh, hosted by us here at Virginia College of Culinary. And uh, they get a scholarship, and it's a real exciting thing, and we appreciate you guys being here. Once they enroll here at the Culinary, how long of a program is this? Well, we're actually the quickest program in the area. We're only nine months long, uh, and they have a choice. They can either do culinary or they can do pastry. So it's basically two terms in-house in any of these kitchens, and then it's also one term as an externship. So in the first class, they do a little bit of stocks, a little bit of sauces, a little bit of uh, meat fabrication, all that good stuff. And then the second time, they do intro to bacon and pastry, and they do garmin jay. So it's really neat. It encompasses a whole lot of different types of culinary skills. And then finally, they do an externship. we got partnerships all over. We have Commander's Palace in New Orleans. We have places in Florida. Uh, and then we have great local support, too, at Mobile Country Club and, and, and our restaurant, The Kitchen on Georgia. Wonderful. Now, with the kitchen that these students get to cook in today for this Golden Spoon competition, is it a professional kitchen? It is. All of our equipment is extremely professional. It's top of the line. Uh, we do a wonderful job and um, you know, we're happy to have them in here and we show them what they can see when they get in the field. Well, Golden Crowd thanks to Culinard for their partnership for the second annual Golden Spoon here in Mobile, Alabama. Thank you.
me a spot. You know my motto, safety first. They could be dangerous. I think we should call animal control. Animal control? <laughs> to be safe. Don't worry. Just... I got this. It's a new motto. You don't have to be perfect to be a perfect parent. There are thousands of teens in foster care who don't need perfection. They need you. Weaver, District Manager for Golden Corral. Scott, welcome this morning. Thank you for joining us for the second annual Golden Spoon. How did Golden Corral get involved with Cullinard and Mobile County Public Schools for this competition? We started this competition in Birmingham, Alabama. We went into the local schools and saw the opportunity that they had uh, culinary classes and we decided to get involved with them to teach the culinary class. Uh, we came up with the program about three years ago. Uh, and we get hooked up with uh, Virginia College culinary uh, at the same time. So once we put the program together, it was su such a success in Birmingham that we moved it through, I guess Mobile would have been the second now in Jacksonville. It's the second year in Mobile, so we're really excited. Wonderful. Nothing does it better than here in Mobile, Alabama. So tell me, how does this program work? Uh, we get the students together, uh, first of all, is the teacher support. Uh, they're the one that teaches the class, and we're grateful for that. Uh, we're pretty much, at this point, supplying the uh, food for the competition and supplying a judge. The teachers take it from there, teach our kids the sanitation, they teach them presentation, and today they're going to be doing an appetizer, a entree, and a dessert. So it's going to be exciting. I, there's a lot of creativity going on in the kitchen right now. Wonderful. I can't wait to see what the kids have uh, provided for us. Tell me, what does Golden Corral provide for the community? What is their goal with community involvement? We're excited about the community because this is our future. Our kids are the future of uh, who we're going to hire, who we're going to be make managers in the future of Golden Corral. And we, we can't do it without the people coming in the door, and they're the ones that's going to be fe feeding in the future. As far as the schools go, um, we're really looking to get involved with the students at this point because that's how they get uh, to us through the doors and come in to work for us. And they love to eat Golden Corral. They love the, love the atmosphere. Well, thank you again for joining us this morning at the second annual Golden Spoon Competition here at the Culinard in Mobile, Alabama. Let's head back to the kitchen and check the action. Now, what are y'all going to be preparing today? For our appetizer, we're doing three different tapas. Three different tapas? Yes, we're doing an Andalusian bean and orange salad, but we use tatsuma. Sounds we're good. We're doing a spinach and goat cheese empanada. All right. And a cantaloupe gazpacho shooter. Now, what are you using for your empanada dough? Uh, just a basic pastry recipe. Just basic pastry. Yeah, but I added, I put some, uh, some satsuma zest in it. Okay. The juice. We're going to have an Andalusian bean and satsuma salad and a uh, um, cantaloupe and satsuma gazpacho. Almost everything in our menu has a secret ingredient in it. <laughs> and for our, um, for our entree, we'll be preparing uh, seared salmon marinated in a satsuma and citrus marinade with a warm lentil and arugula salad. And for our dessert, we'll be preparing a satsuma vanilla upside down cake. It takes a lot of creative thinking to put the secret ingredient in everything. <laughs> All right, now what are y'all gonna be preparing today? Uh, uh, bean pie, my dish is a bean and bean dip, dip with garlic, with okay. um, cottage cheese. All right, now what, now what, what is your appetizer? Do you have an appetizer? Mm -hmm, that's the appetizer. Okay, now what about your main, your, your main dish, your entree? Our entree is going to be chicken and satsuma skewers with a arugula salad and satsuma dipping sauce. And then for our dessert, we have a white bean pie. Like I said, we were just brainstorming ideas and that's just what happened to come to mind. We thought it would be different and after we prepared the dish, it actually didn't taste too bad, so we, we ran with it. What's going on here today? Well, today I'm making tilapia with brown rice. I'm okay. topping it with a hollandaise sauce and rice and vegetables. And right now she's sec sectioning some satsumas okay. for our chocolate crato there that he's preparing. And she's doing fried goat cheese on a bed of spinach with.
and fruit and a fruit sauce. That sounds good. Now, now how are you going to cook your fish? I'm going to fry an olive oil, flour, salt, and pepper. Okay, so you're just going to sort of shallow pan fry it like that? Yes, okay. Now, what, what, what was your dessert? Chocolate crepes with satsumas. Chocolate crepes. Now, you need to make that crepe better by hand, are you? Yes, sir. Okay, what are you going to do? You just melt the chocolate into it? He did. He melted the chocolate, and then he mixed um, some flour and sugar and a little bit of salt. Okay. And then he mixed them together, and he refrigerated them. He's actually trying now to, uh, to make the crepes. Okay. All right, guys. It's time to wrap it up. Start taking your plates to the other side. Should be, should be about done. Start taking your plates to the other side, in this room over here where we're gonna judge. Let's start moving your plates to the other side. If you need help, I have people to help you. This is the moment I knew. His future had no boundaries. There are some moments only the forest can inspire. Find yours at discovertheforest.org. Nonviolence will start with me. Nonviolence will start with me. All across the Mobile County public school system, students are taking the pledge. I pledge to accept the responsibility of my actions. To solve problems peacefully. Respect myself and others. The 100 Days of Nonviolence Pledge is an initiative to help explore alternative means of stopping violence among school students. Will you take the challenge? Get involved. Take a stand. 100 Days, 100 Ways. get started because I know it's been a long morning for y'all. Again, thank you so much for coming and participating. It's been a wonderful opportunity for Golden Corral, Culinary, and Mobile County School Systems. Uh, we've already done the round of applause and such, but let's go ahead and do it again. Jason came in. So right now I'm going to turn it over to Jason. Hey, how you doing? Welcome. Uh -huh. uh, again, for those that didn't see me earlier, my name is Jason Lafferty. I'm the uh, Program Director here at Fabulous Culinary at the Culinary Institute of Virginia College. Welcome. Uh, we're happy to have you here. Uh, it's an exciting moment. It's uh, second annual. Uh, we've enjoyed it greatly. Uh, you know, again, from my perspective, they did a wonderful job, uh, maintained great composure, created some great dishes. You know, I applaud all the, uh, the, the individuals that participated. Um, again, uh, whether we uh, signify winner or loser, you know, it doesn't matter. Y'all did a fabulous job. I was very impressed with each and every one of you and I uh, would be honored uh, to have any of you come to, uh, to culinary school here at uh, Virginia College. I just think today is an exciting day. First of all, for you competing and then our sponsorship and our partnership with uh, Golden Corral and Virginia Culinary College or Virginia College in the culinary division here. It's an exciting day to see it all come together. Have you heard that we really want you to have a plan for what you're going to do after high school? <laughs> I see you smiling. To see what you've produced is outstanding. Football, basketball, that's important too, but nothing's more important than what you're doing because it's what you're passionate about, it's what you're skilled at. And I just can't imagine the things that you've produced today. Outstanding. So congratulations to all of the teams. You're great. 
to the career technical education team, thank you. Uh, to Mrs. Roberson for being here. She's convinced me not to ever miss a minute of this because she's enjoyed it from beginning to end. But congratulations, thank you. And um, I'm gonna quit talking because I wanna see the awards. Let's, uh, let's go and tell you who won. So we'll, we're, we're, we'll go with the third place team and of course, me? Yeah, you can, uh, yeah, I, I would be honored for you to tell that team that they came in third place. And third place, I've always wanted to be in that. So. <laughs> and third place, we have the team from Citronelle High School. Come on right. up here. <laughs> in second place, we have the team members from Viger High School. <laughs> Our second annual Golden Spoon cooking competition is over. I tell you what, all these students today did an excellent job showcasing their skills, cooking in a very limited amount of time, and their finished dishes were excellent. Yes, they were. They looked beautiful. These students have something to be proud of. And now, let's hear the winners. And in third place, we have the students from Citronelle High School. In second place, we have the students from Viger High School. And the winner. The winner of this year's Golden Spoon Cooking Competition are the students from Davidson High School. I feel like to take this opportunity to thank you and Golden Corral for putting on this event that benefited the Mobile County Public School Systems. Well, we thank the Cullinard and Virginia College for their partnership for this event. We look forward to next year's competition. See you then. <laughs>